Hey everyone, GoBots here back today with a brand new series and video here on the channel as we are jumping in to the Man of Midan, or Midan, or Midan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the Dark Pictures Anthology series made by Supermassive Games. This is made by the people that did Until Dawn. Uh, so expect a, it's a horror game to speak of first and foremost. It's single player and I believe co-op as well. Uh, we're just going to do it single player completely. Uh, but I just got this game. I, I've been wanting a good horror game to play for a while now. The one that was wasn't completely new, but one that uh, maybe a little bit under the radar, and I thought this fit the bill, looked like it'd be fun to do. Uh, so we're gonna play in alone. Hope it's gonna be fun. If you enjoyed the series, you want me to continue it on, support the series by hitting the thumbs up button, comment down below with your thoughts. Feel free to join in the GoBotch family and subscribe and help us reach that goal of 10,000 subs. And feel free also to go follow, follow me over at twitch.tv slash GoBotch. I stream every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 2 p.m. Central. So here we are, man. We're getting into our brand new, starting it fresh. Um, I'm hoping it's fun. I mean, I've played a good bit of Until Until Dawn. It's not a game I've finished yet, but I'm probably going to finish that over on my Twitch stream at some point in the future. Um, I'm always looking for good scary games, though, and I figured maybe maybe y'all would enjoy watching this as well if you want to get your uh, your horror game uh, itch scratched, I suppose. So, man and Madan. As we are boarding, it uh, looks like, I don't know the time period we're in, but it definitely looks 40s, 50s maybe, yeah, World War II. Not sure what we got going on, but let's go to full screen, let's get going here. And we got some music playing here, what's going on? So they're, they're taking a fallen soldier four fallen soldiers to be exact interesting I'm really intrigued to see, to see in what type of story we have going on here where are we at like Chinatown or China Joe. You better mosey on back to the ship. Country boy Joe. Whoa. And Charlie. Stop the presses. What? Shh. Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend. Oh God, here we go. Can I fight? Hey. What is happening? Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Oh, don't mess with those things, man. Future stuff, fortune tellers. What's Joe. Me, what? Alright, so let's just go... Let's go dubious. Let's start with so, dubious. Uh, when am I going to hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Let's do the Dragon Tile. Very interesting. Again, I, uh, this game is choice based and it'll affect everything. I see a red. Press right trigger. Okay. So pick it up. What do we got? We got a fish. Looks like a fish? We got a fish. <laughs> Whatever that means. Doesn't sound good. Oh crap. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? That definitely doesn't sound good. What does that mean? What the hell, man? Great. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fine, sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. So, Doom is his fate. I'll give it a whirl. Does it punch back? Oh, shoot, look at this. That's neat. Alright, aim, trigger, bang. Oh yeah, uppercut, baby. Oh, 
Like a boss. Like a boss. Crushing this thing. Dodge and weave, baby. I played Resident Evil enough, I can do button responses all day. Dodge and weave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crushing it. X. Yeah, I knew it was coming. You're predictable. Ooh, that almost got me. Oh, I missed. Have a nice day. I, I did pretty good, didn't I? Did all right. Some kind of weird, weird little market we're in here. They got hunting bags and we really need to get back. All sorts of crap going on here. All right, so uh, kind of an ominous, weird start here for us. Okay. More fallen soldiers. Brutality and the everything that comes with war. All right, so where are we moving on to next here? US 01028984. Again, they're just marked off by their number. They're stacked up in here, man. Dad gum. So we're stumbling back aboard here. They're tipsy. Hey, man. Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man. Hey. Buzz oh, off. don't do something hey, stupid. Oh, shoot, what are we doing? Hear my medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear end. You, should, you don't have to... Not in your medical opinion, man. The medical Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. All right. Well, they went out boozing and they got caught. Serves them right. And we are... Leaving, heading back out, I guess, to the next, uh, the next stage of the war we're in. Caught in a storm now, though. Interesting. And we keep getting a glimpse at these, these three caskets over here, pretty much. Oh shoot! Oh god, zombies! That doesn't look good. Not in the slightest. Something's going down here. Great. Just freaking great. And it's gonna dissipate all over everybody now. Whatever that stuff is, I don't know. Yeah, you feeling a little... you feeling alright? It's his boy, right? Why increase the sedation? What's going down? What is going on? So Joe in the sick bay, 1.36 a.m. on June 22nd. Okay. So... Nobody else is in here with me, it looks like. It's just me. All right, so we, we definitely got the same control type of scheme that they had in uh, Until Dawn, uh, similar to old old school Res Resident Evil games. We have a, no key. Let's take a look at the picture. Again, this is our boy, I believe. All right, let's flip it over. The pops come back soon. Man, war, man. Leaving your family behind. Going out with your duty. All right, so there's something over here. It's glowing. Oh my gosh! What? What the hell? What is happening? 
There's the key. And there's your 50 cents. It's actually about 75 cents there. Let's grab that key and just hope this guy doesn't come alive right now because I'll, I'll probably jump, to be honest with you guys. All right, so we got the key. Something is wrong here. Check on him. See if he's okay. What's going down? Anything I can look at here? I'm just staring at a body. Can't can't do anything. No investigation. Okay. Never mind. We can't we can't get all LA Noir with him right now, it appears. But we got a dead doctor on our hands. And we've been locked in with dead doctor. How did he die? I don't know. But something ain't right. And it's all because of that lightning strike and what was ever coming out of those boxes. Game looks pretty solid though, overall graphically. Again, cinematic, completely cinematic. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. You gonna mention the dead doctor that you just saw? Up there. Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? <laughs> Sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you probably should. Okay, let's go. We'll follow him out of here. Or never mind, he'll follow us. <sighs> I'll do it. Gunfire. Okay, so we gotta press it in time with the, tar the heartbeat. So, little mini game action. Here we go. Boom, boom. We're good. Is this guy off the deep end? Is he off the deep end? Crazy now? Oh boy, here we go, faster. This is easy right now. I have a feeling it's about to get really difficult. <sighs> Something ain't right. Dude's lost his mind now. He's just going. He's going all, all psycho on us here. Very Jack Torrance. What the hell? Oh, very calm and relaxed for what y'all are witnessing right now. What was that? Is that his boy? I ain't having that crap, man. Don't you start bringing in creepy children like in city style stuff. I ain't doing it. Oh, there's something right here we need to look at. Glowy. Hey, Charlie. Hell. Charlie, get over here. More jump scare bullcrap. Get off me. Yeah, you said it. Foobar and that so Good Lord. Something ain't right. I'm telling you right now, man. Something went completely freaking wrong here. Let's keep moving. Keep it moving. We'll check this. Another step. Oh, damn it! What okay. happened? What happened? He's he's Last like he's like grudge killed over here. Poor fucker. What happened, man? All right, well, let's keep moving on. Down the stairs we go. Oh. I feel like I'm being followed by this smog, that smoke. There it is, right there. You see it. Walk faster, LB. Okay, I will. Don't breathe in that crap, man. It looks like it makes you turn into... Well, you're dead or crazy, one of the two. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Well, I'm right, pretty, pretty dang strange. Talk about his Whoa, my God! I jump. Hey, jump. <sighs> you see that kid over there? Uh, Where's my BPM at now? <laughs> feeling all right? Good, good. No, man, you're getting crazy. You saw your boy. I, I, I just gotta be prepared. 
You're good to go, Botch. We're good to go, Botch. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Charlie, the jump scares are coming. <laughs> Not having it. Everybody's dead. somebody's behind me over here all right something going down anybody behind me still no good child walk across I heard him I had my head turned though No man, no man, we ain't go. <sighs> Not a fan. Got chuckling kiddos. It's freaking me out, man. I ain't doing it. Oh God, no, Charlie! <laughs> Get out of my ear cups. No, 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 no. Do it. I don't know what's going to be his boy, though. Either that or it's Charlie. He just went tripping. Shoot fire, man. What a start. Nope, I just got chills. Oh, shoot. Cardiac arrest. Here he goes. What is that stuff? It's like a hallucinogenic thing that makes you die slowly. I ain't good, man. The bioweapon. Got Morse code going on here. Who this? Who that? What the hell is that? Something looked kind of morphed. Not right at all. Now hold no. up your cross, baby. No. No. The power of Christ compel you. Shoot. Dude, what the heck? Everyone do is done and gone. Everyone. What? All right. So that little brief introduction again. Hello. Hi. How are you? And welcome. Which, okay. To my repository. Okay, you creepy son of a gun. Nice candlelight you got going on here. So again, this is an anthology, uh, so that means you got a whole bunch of different stories connected with some sort of through line. And I'm assuming this is our uh, moderator, our commentator, that's going to lead us along this journey of these stories that we will be uh, embarking in. As we just got to see a little bit of right there. The curator. Oh, he's the curator. The curator of stories. Okay. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty life and death okay stories such as this one all right we'll share this story with me shall we i'm here to record the story you choose to tell you see this tale is only part written and the choices you make will complete it okay and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are that's not out <laughs> See, I'm intrigued by it all. I'm, I'm decisions according to our own moral compass. Okay. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. It's not but foreboding at all. Death. It is, after all, inevitable. It will come for everybody. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. 
Still, none of us want for it to come too soon. Amen to that. Do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. That's a moral statement for everybody to listen to right there. Eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Okay. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Premonitions. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay, so it shows you a glimpse at the future. Or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Okay. So the ones That's that don't lead to your demise. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have right. the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Well, thank you, Mr. Curator. You've made. <laughs> well, hopefully we make good decisions. We'll see. We'll try to do our best. Inevitably, I think there will be some fates that are uh, not the best. But uh, yeah, man. So we are picking up here now. Um, Let's see where we're at here. Let's say the Duke of Milan. And it looks like, I mean, hey, getting out in the water, I'm for it. Even though I just know what we just saw in the water. Here's Brad, he's witty, he's Alex's brother. He's innocent and witty. We're at the French Polynesia. He's got the booze. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. He's motivated and insecure, okay? So we got like the jock type, and then you got this guy that's like kind of the geek nerd. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Still going diving? Okay, diving. Yep, he's set up. I'm a pro to it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Kind of, yeah. Insecure. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Don't be a jerk. Be loving brothers, please. <laughs> what? Uh, easier said than done, yeah, right? Everybody like, that has brothers, we understand that. Bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Okay. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. All right, uh, accusatory. He was invited. Uh, Take along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Yeah, Julia jerk. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. <laughs> Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. Yeah, and very man, stressful. Long distance thing... Julia? Of course. It's been rough. All right. Um, it's been two weeks. No, don't be that. Be empathetic. Be good to yeah, your brother. Jeff, be good be to Jeff. him. No worries, man. God is back. Then maybe he'll get yours one day. Yeah. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. <laughs> ah, I I so he's like the party man. Conrad, it sounds like. Relationship updated. So. Oh, cool. So we don't have any pictures, and you have relationships that shows that he's truthful, envious, witty, and innocent. A little bit of anxious. He's got a good relationship with Alex, who's his brother. Secrets. Don't have any secrets. And bearings. Don't have any bearings. Okay. Interesting. It's similar to Until Dawn's system hey. format. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About that being school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice. He's talking so about like engagement. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh let's go with your gut, man. Go with your gut. Trust your gut. If it's right, bearing updated. Know. Okay, so that was a big apparently that was something big we just hey. did. So there's Julia, it's Conrad's sister, and Alex's girlfriend. And here's Conrad, and I've seen him in numerous movies and things before, TV shows and stuff. So he's Julia's brother. Oh. Oh. All right. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, 
What's up, man? It's Conrad. So he's like the party dude, right? Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. All right. Hey, Bradley. <laughs> I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Oh, well, I hope it's all good. Thanks. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. All right, so that's Conrad. He's Mr. Party Man here. I mean, I would have gone with me. Uh, just don't do it. Uh, don't do it. I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad. Bradley. Ray <laughs> Rattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. That's not a can. That's a that's 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 not one. Uh, be serious. Stand your nah, ground. Man, you you really really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> so yourself. You ever do any diving? Before? More for you, dude. Uh, nope. Never done um, diving. No. At least he's being honest, man. He's not hiding or anything. He's just being completely honest. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this dude. Conrad's probably like the first one to go. He just seems <laughs> reckless. Too much of a partier. Where's the old crust bucket? But maybe not. Right? He's a well known actor. So he's probably gonna stick around pretty well long in this game. So this is Fliss, Captain of the Duke Milan. She's impatient and courageous. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... <laughs> Yeah, we already did that, didn't we? She is our captain for this vessel. All right. So I'm assuming this is our main cast that we'll be sticking with, or maybe at least for just this part of the anthology. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Well, if we are getting to a closing point, let's find out. Let's see if we're at a spot. Not yet. Wait to get to a spot where we can close, and then uh, we'll pick up for another future episode. But so we got Alex, Brad, Julia, Conrad, and Fliss. That's our crew we have here so far. This is at 5:30 p.m. same day. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late... I We're trying to find the wreck that we just played through? You know? In the, the prologue, I guess? Alright, um... Optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says That's right, you back your brother. You. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. Yeah, it's 5.30 already, I'm so... Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? You find anything good? Feast your eyes on this. Oh, they found... Hey, look at that. It's a plane. That's not the ship. Like Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah. Definitely a B-29. He's nerding out. Good, right? Our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. <laughs> hey, we can nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Do it, man. Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the B-29 is a He's awkward, fortress. but it's cool. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible yes, while they just drop missiles, man. Warheads. They and... were just like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry, yeah, um. Nerd burst. Don't be sorry, dude. It's cool. Keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities mm. as an unreported wreck. Okay, That's makes sense. You. Are you sure you don't? Want She's to wanting to be the by right the way? book, and we're just wanting to party it out. Uh, be disappointed. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. <laughs> All right, so. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am gonna do some reading. Nothing on good is gonna come of it. I'm guaranteeing you. Some crap is gonna go freaking down. And it ain't gonna be good. 
get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. All right. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Make sure he's all settled. Good. All right. So I think we're at a breaking off point here for the Amanda Badan. So we're going to go ahead and close that one for part one. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue on more for this. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I guess the next time we pick up, we'll be uh, prepping the tanks, getting ready for the dive here for the bomber and checking everything out there. But leave your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to join in here, the GoBotch family, and subscribe. But thank you all so much for tuning in there today. Please stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to go follow me over at twitch.tv slash GoBotch for my streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. But you all have a great day, and I'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.